G'day, Adam, VK4JHZ. We're at the top of Mount Cooper and we're going to be uh, doing some more uh, microwave radio experiments on uh, 10 gigahertz. Uh, the QDQ9 tower is about uh, two kilometres to my north and uh, the lookout, for those who know Mount Cooper, the lookout is um, probably a kilometre or two to my south. And uh, doing some tests with Alan VK4WR down there in uh, Belbarry. So let's uh, set up and give it a go. Just set all the gear up on my uh, Black & Decker work, mate. Gammy, but still does the job. This is my 2.4, 3.4 gig system. Don't need that today, but it does have the uh, Thunderbolt reference, uh, the GPS uh, like 10 meg reference in it. This is the dish. It's a ex MyTech commercial bit of kit, 60 centimeters in diameter. And uh, I've got a RF ham design tri band ring feed. Just using it for 10 gigs today. Power for this is just coming from a 12 volt car battery. It's got the Thunderbolt powering up. It takes about a minute or two to uh, become stable. Now, 203 degrees is uh, that way. BK4. WR, VK4 WR, VK4 G, HZ portable, over. I kill sell the 5 and 9, I can only give you a 4 and 1, 41. Um, obviously I have a, a problem with the receiver front end uh, here, over. Full we'll scope. Yeah, thanks for the 5 and 9, Alan. Uh, like I say, you're only 4 and 1, 41, uh, so that indicates I've got a, uh, a front end problem uh, at this end, over. Yeah, Roger, Roger, Adam. No, uh, something is dropping out. You couldn't get any louder if you tried, and, uh, 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 but I, uh, when I rotate the dish, it doesn't really order very much. Uh, 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 I don't know what Okay, Alan, well, uh, thanks for that. It uh, proves that the transmit side works and uh, obviously a little bit more work to do on the receive side uh, this end. Can you uh, can actually confirm you're putting out full power, over? Yeah, yeah, Roger, Roger, Adam, no, uh, five, one, five, one, five, five. Roger, QSL the five watts. All right, I'll uh, have to do some digging at this end. Thanks very much for the contact. Um, it, can't, it comes to about 10, 10 something kilometres, so, uh, if I'm full scale at your end, I'm uh, very pleased with that. VK4WR, okay, uh, VK4GHZ Portable, Mount Cooper on uh, 10,368 decimal one megs. No QSL? Gee, very disappointed. All right, seven threes, seven threes. Oh well, uh, thanks for that. That's a bit of a mystery. I'd like to know why the receiver's deaf though. Well, I would suspect you're getting overload from uh, all the RF up there, wouldn't you? Oh, uh, no, the, um, I doubt it. I'm, uh, I'm probably a good 500 metres away from any uh, commercial installation and the, uh, the dishes are pretty sharp, so uh, I don't think that's a problem. Uh, you know, I was putting full power out, and uh, you know, I made the contact with Doug over 80k's the other day. So um, yeah, a bit interesting, but uh, yeah, I'm, look, I'm, I'm beaming into some uh, some high voltage power power pylons, but I don't think that should really affect it. No, I wouldn't think so. I mean, I'm I've got some trees about um, 
40, 50 feet in front of me. But uh, if I'm full scale at your end and uh, you're not full scale here, there's uh, a problem with the receiver here, I think. All right, that gives me something to work on. BK4WR, uh, BK4GHZ Portable, Mount Cutha.